All right, hello. This is Dinky Monster Seven here on May Fourteenth, uh, two thousand twenty. Um, today we're going to uh, check the compression in this uh, old six horsepower Evan Rude outboard engine. This process is going to be fairly similar for uh, any type of engine. Uh, if it's a lawnmower or a uh, chainsaw, it doesn't matter. Or if it's a car engine. So anyway, let's get started. So as we can see here, these are the tools that's required in uh, in this case. Uh, it's a wrench, here you can see, and it's also going to be a compression tester. Now uh, this is a generic kit. Uh, most of them are like this. Uh, it includes some instructions. You get some. Uh, uh, different fittings um, There's the gauge itself and um, Yeah, so that's all you need to do this So uh, first off what you want to do is you want to go to the engine and you want to uh, locate your latch to get uh, the hood or cowling off Let's See here and uh, also another test you can do before um, checking the compression is uh, if you pull on the cord and uh, you feel like just when you get the resistance that's the actual compression of the uh, stroke so uh, if it's hard and then gets lighter to pull uh, that means that the engine has good compression but we're gonna measure it to make sure Okay, so uh, first off, you want to locate your spark plugs. They are right here. This is a, a two-stroke engine. Uh, it's the same for a four-stroke engine. Uh, two-stroke engine with two cylinders. There's the top and there's the bottom cylinder. Um, and you want to take your spark plug boot. So your cable just snaps off the spark plug like that. And you don't want to mix those up because your engine won't run correct if you mix them up. And then you want to grab your wrench and loosen up that spark plug. So, uh, like so. It's counterclockwise to loosen it. So righty tighty, lefty loosey. And then once you get your spark plug out of the hole, it's smart to inspect the spark plug itself in uh, in this case if the camera can focus which it doesn't seem to want to do Let's see here so now I got the camera to focus a little bit we can see that the spark plug is pretty blacked out that means this engine is either worn or it's running uh, of too much oil so the engine burns oil but since this is a two-stroke you know it's anyway it's going to burn oil but it's probably been run with a little bit rich mixture of two-stroke oil in the gas okay uh, then we have the uh, hole right there and now we want to get the gauge out and I will show so hopefully it's possible to see now so we got the gauge right here and we want to have the correct dimension on the uh, size that we're going to thread into the cylinder so obviously this is too big so we want to get that off like so um, then once we have the uh, gauge here what we want to do is simply thread the gauge in a clockwise direction just as if you were to change your spark plug until it's fairly tight there is a seal here on the gauge so it doesn't have to be all that tight and then we want to make sure that the uh, compression here is reset this is the release to let out the pressure and uh, now I will go ahead and spin over the engine and uh, hopefully you can see the gauge move 
when I crank the engine now. Okay, let's see. Also, I forgot to mention, uh, it's best if you uh, have full throttle when you check the compression because uh, that lets more air in and yeah. Okay, so now we're going to check where the compression is at. Uh, as you can see, the compression here is currently at about 90 psi. Uh, that's okay compression for this engine. It's a little low, but it's it's fine. So let's check the bottom cylinder now. So I got the second spark plug uh, off. Now we're going to thread the uh, compression gauge into the spark plug hole, like this. And now we're going to check the compression on the lower cylinder. So, as you can see, the compression in the uh, lower cylinder is also about 90 psi. It's okay compression for this engine, I mean it's an old engine uh, and I don't know anything about its history, but it's okay. You want to have uh, at least 90 psi, so anything above this is good and also what you want is the compression to be even so let's say you have uh, 90 psi on the top cylinder and then you have 100, 100 psi in the bottom cylinder that's okay you know but if it would be like uh, uh, 90 psi here and 120 psi here that would be too much difference and uh, the engine is it's gonna run, but it's not gonna run very well. Okay. So, now that we have checked the compression, uh, we can then remove the uh, spark plug, uh, the uh, compression check gauge. Uh, then what we want is, we want to put the spark plug back in. So uh, we just thread the spark plug into the spark plug hole and screw it in in a clockwise direction then we get the uh, wrench right here put it on and uh, when we're talking about spark plugs you know you don't want to tighten it too much of course but uh, I mean like good idea is to uh, put your hand uh, close to the spark plug so it get less momentum and then tighten it till it's just till it's snug and then you're all good and then at last you want to get your spark plug boot cable and push it up on here and the process is done you can get the engine cowling on the engine Let's see that and you push the latch up and you're good okay thanks for watching this video and uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more uh, how to and outboard engine and pretty much any engine video thanks for watching